Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss with you another place you can stack away your precious metals. Now, I've seen a number of people mentioning these book safes on videos. Now, these book safes, they stand out a mile off. When these are in your bookshelf, people know what to look for. They don't even feel like real books. The, the pages obviously plastic got a combination thing there now if all people all they have to do is just pull out a few books and straight away this just stands out even when it's when it's set aside in a bookshelf along all the other books it just doesn't look like a, a real book and anyone with a little bit of knowledge would know to quickly look along a bookshelf looking for these sorts of things in there so in my opinion steer clear of these these are really really not a good place to stack your precious metals if you want to store your precious metals amongst your other books which i do personally think is quite a good idea make your own one now really really easy to do and i'm going to kind of talk you through it in this video now as you can see this is a normal uh, book the actual pages all look fine so if that was in your bookshelf it wouldn't stand out like something like this would just look at that it just looks this just screams book safe doesn't it it really doesn't look uh, authentic or anything so like i said you want to make one yourself so obviously get a book that you've either read a million times and you don't want to read again or go to a charity shop and pick up a book now i brought this book to read and because i'm from the uk although it was very interesting it was very um not non-relevant basically it's about retirements and kind of it more talks about the uh, american side of like retirement funds and things like that so for me it wasn't worthwhile keeping this book so that's why i chose this book now you can see when you're making these book saves you want to if someone if you leave this on the side for example and someone starts flicking through it you want it to look like it's a real book so always leave the first handful of pages untouched when you're making something like this and then when you get a few pages in that's where you can see the, the beauty of what it actually holds inside so you can see you can get quite a large amount of precious metals in there now if this was gold you could get obviously a hell of a lot more in there and again the thicker book you choose to use the more obviously storage place you'll have inside but really really easy to do all you need to do is to start off with a Stanley knife, draw a square on the middle of the page, go around and then just gradually keep going around the same square as you go around, taking away the pages as you go. Then what you want to do, you can see I've left these top pages a bit loose again, just to give it that more kind of authentic book look. And then what you want to do is inside you want to use hot glue or super glue and just glue all the inside of the pages together so you can see all of these inside pages are all glued together really solid so that you don't get the precious metal slipping through the edge you can hear that Look, it's absolutely solid there and as you can see you can get a decent amount in there and if this was gold you could get a substantial amount in there stacked away this this would easily take someone's whole gold stack and it's a really good place, in my opinion, to store. All these outside pages look legit because, like I said, I've only glued the inside. So the inside is solid, so nothing's going to slip through the pages. But the outside is still like a book. So, in my opinion, if one of your hiding places you choose, like I said, you should always separate your stack anyway. You should never store your whole stack in one place in case it's discovered. You don't want to lose your whole stack in one hit. But this is a really good alternative to one of these artificial looking things. And also the beauty of it, of it is it doesn't cost you anything. If many of you have old books that you've read and you won't be reading again, then that is absolutely a great way to repurpose them and turn them into something. So really, really cool. If you put this on your bookshelf, it is not going to scream artificial book safe it's going to look like a regular book and it's just something cool that you can just make at home you don't have to go out and, and spend any cash you can just make it at home just with some glue and a standing knife so yeah let me know what you think short video there just to show you another place that you can hide precious metals let me know what you think about this in the comment section below is this something you would consider to 
hide away your precious metals. I definitely think it's a, a great place to hide some of your stack. It's also a great gift. If you know someone that stacks precious metals, you can make them one of these as like a gift. It's a nice personal gift, something that they wouldn't have thought of. And yeah, it just keeps everything secure. So yeah, let me know what you think about this hiding place. You could also chuck in one of these to keep the moisture out if you wanted to. Close it, slot it into your books, bookshelf and your precious metals are nice and secure. So forget these. These are, in my opinion, a waste of time. God knows why you would have a, a lock on one of these things because if someone found this, they wouldn't even bother messing around opening it at your house anyway. They'd just take it away and then whack a hammer for it and crack all this plastic and yeah really really uh pointless these are these are kind of like a novelty item really they just stand out like a sore thumb absolute waste of time make yourself one and just remember always separate your stack into separate piles when you're when you're hiding it away as always thanks very much for watching my videos let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and i hope you have a nice day